An interesting clash of styles in this FMW match. I'm John Watanabe with Eric Big Ball Geller. Yeah, right now we have a Super Leather. You can guess who he is. I mean, you know he's crazy, but I gotta admit, I kinda like Super Leather. He brings a, a sort of theatrics to the sport that anyone can enjoy. And uh, this match is getting up to a wild start. Uh, his opponent is uh, Masato Tanaka, taking a few seats to the head and a uh, whip into the seats. Super Leather is one of the FMW's members who originally hailed from the good old U.S. of A. He's a cakey boy who grew up way out in the back of the state, back yonder. Way. Yeah, I guess you would call him the chairman of FMW. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess he's the chairman of the board, and you're never going to be bored watching this extremely hardcore wrestling known as Frontier Martial Arts Wrestling. Now, I don't know if you knew this, but Super Leather's original family used to beat him mercilessly. Until one day, he killed them all with a uh, oh. chainsaw. Yeah, and now uh, Super Leather is uh, taking out his childhood frustrations on the poor Masato Tanaka, treating Masato like a poor red-headed stepchild. Well, he's just atoning for some uh, past family sins. I don't know if you know this, but he, uh, he, he ran away in his younger years. He went to live with a different family, and uh, maybe you know this family, the Carlucci family out of Chicago. Ring a bell with you? Uh, isn't that the family the rest of the CPA works for? Exactly, Mundo, John. It's been more than a rumor that Super Leather has been contracted by his adopted family to take care of some old business with his enemy, CPA. And it looks like uh, Tanaka, nice good old fashioned right to hey, hey, Super Leather. And uh, Super Leather, of course, the man with the leather face, as anyone can plainly see. What they say, supposedly, his face is made up of the skin of past victims. He took that skin, meshed it together, sewed it together. Uh, there, I'm actually told that the dreadlocks are Bob Marley's dreadlocks. He actually uh, dug up the grave of Bob Marley and attached it to that skin. And, uh, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah. Well, he's certainly jamming out there right now. You've been uh, smoking too much of that Jamaican. Uh, a nice, uh, good old fashion uh, stop to the throat by Masato Tanaka. Tanaka's a very resilient fighter. He's uh, got more lives than, uh, than uh, well, you have with your, uh, I don't know, so that, uh, if your wife is listening out there, that uh, he was in the hotel room with me last night. I promise you, he didn't answer the call because we were going over today's uh, uh, pregame analysis. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Uh, nice uh, whip into the post uh, by Super Leather. I, I mentioned that this is a clash of styles. Tanaka, known for his power moves and technical finesse and super leather he has no wrestling technique i mean the guy doesn't know a wrist lock from a wrist watch i mean he just goes out there and brawls and does whatever he does to maim his opponent so if you don't really care for his wrestling style you might want to give him a few tips you know just go up and talk him after the match give him some pointers i think he'd be good for that yeah i'll do that as long as you're like six inches in front of me you know that, that's just fine hey i talk to the man i know these guys i i get in the ring with these men my friend we have a relationship, a rapport. You know, I, I, I think you're right. I think I've seen the two of you at a Star Trek convention together or a Doctor Who convention. I mean, you look like the kind of guys who would be. Oh, and, and if you can see who's living long and prospering right now, my friend. Hmm? Okay, your boy. Your boy, Super Leonard. Yeah, in charge, uh, taking control over Tanaka. At least at the moment. Whoa, nice neck breaker. Man. Oh, and uh, yeah, Tanaka. He's gonna, yeah, yeah, he yeah, can he, break free yeah, before the pin. Yeah, he does. I mean, that's a very time-honored tradition in the FMW. To pin an opponent, you have to totally dominate his world. If he manages to even get his shoulder off the ground for a second, 40 seconds, it's as good as letting him break free. I mean, if they still have the energy to fight, then they will fight. And in keeping with tradition, they get back into, uh, boy, whoa, headbutt, headbutt, headbutt. Yeah, the ref, uh, the ref just lets them go at it, and, uh, yeah, they're really... Getting back to business, you know, mano e mano. Now, how do you say that uh, mano e mano in Japanese? Mano oh. e mano. Whoa! Speaking of mano e mano. Oh, boy. Wow, Super Leather really hurt him on that one. Took him out. Yeah. Took him out for the count. Yeah, and your boy wins, Super Leather. He did that. Actually, I taught him that. No, not that move right there. I am.